Hello, what's up, YouTube? Ronnie Sweet, and I'm sure. And in this tutorial, I'll show you an easy way of how to remove color cast from your photos in Photoshop. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you three different ways that you can use to remove color cast and easily correct your white balance in Photoshop. And if at all you find this really helpful, don't forget to hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend this to so many people out there having the same issue that they want to solve in Photoshop. So, the very first thing you have to know, you're just going to be using the curves adjustment layers and the levels in the first two steps and in the last step you're just going to be having a more advanced way of spotting that kind of 50 percent gray kind of option and also how to get a neutral area to spot to correct the white balance remember oftentimes when you're taking photos we tend to have to use a gray card for those professionals out there that use gray cards use a gray card that we can use to spot the best white balance for our images but if at all you don't have a gray card this is a tool that you have to use and follow along the steps so the very first thing you're just going to be using you're going to be using the levels adjustment so just come to the adjustment layer and you come down to levels so when you click on levels you can see we have three eyedropper tools right here and the first one is going to be for the black point and the last one is going to be for the white point and the one in the middle is going to be for the gray point so just click in the one for the middle and when you click on that option you look for the area that should be gray or neutral in the image that you want to remove the color cast from so just come and click on that area or just choose different areas and you can see with just a single click that color cast is going to be gotten rid of so let's see a before and after this is the before and this is the after for the levels adjustment layer so i'm just going to come and delete this so that is the very first way of removing color cast from your photos in photoshop so the second way is going to be using the color adjustment layer and this is going to be somehow similar to the very first option just going to come to the adjustment layers and you're going to come to the curves adjustment layer and right now we have the same eyedropper tools so the very first one is going to be for the blacks the last one is going to be for the white and the middle one is going to be for the gray point or for the neutral point so just click in the one for the middle and just click on it and look for or click on an area that should be gray or neutral in the image so just click on that area and you can see right here is the best or the sweetest spot for the gray point and you can see it has just gotten rid of that kind of gray or color cast from the image so we're just getting rid of the color cast from the image so these are the first two ways and the last way is going to be a little bit complex because there are times when you can't really spot right that gray point in your photos or in your images and this is the very last and more important step or technique that you have to follow along when you're trying to get rid of that kind of gray point or when you're trying to get rid of the color cast from the images so in this step you just want to identify the best gray point in the photo and get rid of the color cast so we're just going to come right down here to the new layer option and we create a new empty layer so we just want to fill this layer with a 50 percent gray option or layer we want to make it a neutral layer and fill it with 50% gray. So what we want to make sure this layer has been selected. Then we come right down here to edit, fill. Then you come to contents and select 50% gray. The blending has to be normal, or pass at 100%. And preserve transparency has not been checked and simply hit OK. So we have created this 50% gray kind of layer. So we just want to get a difference of the colors within the photo. So I'm just going to come to the blend mode and remember I've just mentioned it. Just select the difference from uh, the blend mode. So just come to the blend mode and change it to difference. And this is going to get the image to look a little bit worse and look more weird. But don't mind about all this. We're just going to come back to the adjustments and come to our threshold. So just come to threshold and click right there. And it's going to create another layer for you. So under this, it's going to show you a histogram right here. And now what you have to do, left click and drag this all the way towards the left hand side. And now 
move this up to a point when you're starting to get more blacks within the image and prominent blacks within your photo so at around 20 i have more blacks so what i want to do i want to sample these blacks and make a target or selection for the black point so i have to choose the blackest point in your photo so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to my keyboard and select i or press i on the keyboard to get my eyedropper tool and now what I have to do, I'm going to zoom into the image and I look for one of those black areas. So I'm just going to use this as a reference point. I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard. And when I hold down the shift key, you can see it adds another tool close to our eyedropper tool. So hold down shift and you click on that black point. While holding down shift, simply left click and you can see it really samples colors when i try to hover around it samples colors from the rgb or from the cmyk and you can see these values turn changing when i'm trying to move it over the rest of the image so I'm, what i'm going to do i'm just going to close this and right now i'm going to come and deselect these two layers and you can see it has just selected that as my point so i'm going to come back to the background layer and i'm going to make sure it is selected come to the curves adjustment layer and create that curves adjustment layers and as we had seen in the previous steps we had the black point the gray point and our white point so just come and select the gray point so when you select the gray point just simply come and click i'm just going to zoom out to zoom in a little bit more and click in this point that we had to make so when you click in that point you can see that this has really corrected for us the white balance and it has also gotten rid of the color cast and this is a more better and more defined way to get the right white balance for your image and you get rid of that color cast from your photo so let's see the before and the after before after and when you're done you can just come and simply select these two layers because we no longer need them and hit the delete option and we delete those layers so this is the before and this is the after before after i hope you can see how nicely done this has turned out to be and i've just gotten rid of that color cast from the image and you can use the same technique to correct the white balance in your photos if at all you really want to correct the white balance in the images so these are the three ways of how to get rid of color cast from the images and also how to correct white balance within Photoshop. So the very first technique was by simply creating a curves adjustment layers and using the middle eyedropper tool, you select a neutral or gray point in the image. So just automatically choose or sample from or click on area that you think should be gray in the image. And the other has been the levels and use the same option or same procedure. And the last one, we have simply created an empty layer in photoshop and we fill that layer with a 50 percent gray kind of layer then we created another threshold adjustment layer and what we did we turned up or we turned down the option or the histogram slider and we brightened it up up to around 20 and after doing all that we created another curves adjustment layer on top of the image after deselecting the other layers and we used the middle eyedropper tool or the gray point one to sample the selected or targeted area. So this has been it for this tutorial. And if I've told you have found this helpful, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If I told you have found this really helpful, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. See you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.